today we just want to cut some leather and do some engraving on leather. I have a big piece of leather and since it's coming out in in a very weird shape, I'm going to have to you know make it a little bit square so that it fits the work area of the Creality Falcon 2 that I'm going to be using to cut and engrave some leather keyhole stamps. So this is the leather piece that I have. So I'll just start by cutting. So of course, first of all, you have to measure it. The work area of the Falcon F2 is about 450 by 450 millimeters. So I'll just make sure this thing is around 450 by 450. So we have our first uh, square piece, it's not really square, but this should be enough to fit in the Creality Falcon. Let me just go and check. So I can see it fits perfectly. So next thing you want to do is you want to put some supports on the leather since the leather is coming out of the bed. You want to put some supports. For the supports you can basically use anything, perhaps some planks or maybe some weights or even just the good old tape. So let me see if there's something around the workshop that can use to uh, make sure that the leather stays flat on the bed. So I'll be using the good old tape to hold the leather on the bed. Uh, this is not the best uh, option but since I don't have any weights around I think it will do for now. So the tape is now set and the leather is laying flat on the bed. So one thing you might want to do is just check that the tape is not too much inside the leather in the work area where the leather head will be traveling. Otherwise, uh, the leather head might have some problems cutting the leather and basically you're going to waste more time and more power. So make sure you put the tapes right at the edges and then you're good to go. Next, we're going to take the design and then frame it with the leather head and get started. So here's the design that you're going to be making. I've already duplicated it and it's within the 400 by 400 workspace area. So I'm just going to run the frame and then we see whether the laser head is going to cover the work area. Before you run the frame, you want to use these guides that will help you know where to place the laser head. Just make sure running this just to make sure since the leather is not very flat I want to make it as flat as possible this is one of the challenges of cutting or engraving leather so I'll raise the head again then I just do a quick run see some places it's high up places down I think I'm going to put it down you particularly want to check that the leather head can easily run especially on the sides or else it's going to pick up the leather and your work material is going to be spoiled and since this is a client's material we want to be really accurate give it a nice run again So I've already confirmed the work area. I think the laser head is going to cover the whole of the work area. So next we're just going to start engraving. Remember if you're engraving and cutting, the best option is usually to engrave first and then cut later. Because if you cut, usually the pieces pop up and then when it comes to engraving, they might be inaccurate or maybe they might not come out the way that you like. So usually I like engraving first, then after I've engraved all the patterns, then I finish it off by cutting the outline. 